Hey, so here we are in 3D Code Texture. This is a budget-friendly version of 3D Code, which is much cheaper, about $90, but only offers you the minimum texturing options that you need in your workflow. It's a perfect solution for someone like me, because I use ZBrush 90% of the time, so I don't really need the retopology or sculpting tool from 3D Code, only need the scene painting and a projection mapping. When I picked this software up, it was actually a bit hard to figure out how I can do actually projection mapping without using something like Photoshop, for example. So can I do it directly in the app itself? And the answer is yes, but it's not that well documented, or at least I was not able to find it. So I decided to make a quick tutorial explaining how it can be done. So first thing first, you go into 3D code and you can click on the paint UV map mesh or just go to file, import, model per pixel painting. Going to pick our object here and um, gonna make sure that it's a 4K texture. So the object was coming with the UV map which is perfect and now we're going to click here on smart materials and we're going to create a new one called skull demo okay click on this plus button here and as you can see this kind of material sensor control panel showed up and smart material editor as well so what's happening now is we are going to define our base diffuse texture that we want to project on the surface here at the green icon next to it you can actually see that click to select color texture we're going to click on that we're going to use our image and as you see it looks quite bad it's using cube mapping in the preferred mapping uh, settings we want to make sure that it's actually from camera because we're going to do projection mapping you see that on the top left corner the image showed up and we're just going to save this quickly just name it something okay save and then as you see this image actually snaps to the the model itself if you zoom in or zoom out it's going to follow it the only thing it won't do if you rotate it around it won't rotate with it which means that if you have a tileable texture you can actually re reuse the multiple parts the way you move this actually into position is go to your material sensor control panel and use this kind of move icon and move it into you know where you want to place your texture so let's say we're going to just zoom and kind of scale it up a bit make sure that it's actually matching the object as much as possible all right let's see that's it and you can actually change the transparency here as well if you want to see what's going underneath this is not going to change the projection it's only just the preview itself make sure you pick a brush and you're going to be on layer one uh, it's a good idea to actually rename it to something so you know exactly where you're what layer are you working on so i'm just going to call this color video for now and um, okay let's you know get started and i'm just going to use my brush tool to paint the texture over it not going to be perfect but it's you know it's all about just a quick demonstration and as you see it's projected on my texture to apply to it i'm just going to hit this x button here to close it down there we go and this is how you use the projection mapping and what's cool is if you like to do other options like um let's say we want to do the side you can actually combine it together with symmetry so hit on symmetry you can just hit the s key and click on s x axis so it's actually going to you know our symmetry is activated you can work on both sides of the model and it's going to be mirrored over and uh, let's say we're going to add a new smart material in the same folder we do the same thing just click our on our color texture make sure it's from camera just name it something else save it just move this down and we do the same thing we move this into position we can adjust the size and the scale okay maybe a bit more zoom a little bit more okay let's say we're happy with that we do the same thing we just use a paintbrush on the same layer and we paint over it all right that's it let's be let's say we're happy with it just rotate it around but let's say we want to actually fill in the back as well so you could actually reuse the same texture and just project it on top of it this was going to be a terrible example but you can actually at least see that you can do wherever you want it you can just start painting over it it's not going to look very good but uh because the symmetry is on as well let me just turn it off it just give you an idea basically how it could work so let me close on symmetry and let me actually 
apply my changes to it and there we go so one thing i tend to do is go to view and pick flat shading which is actually the number two key it just shows you exactly what have you done your texture is like completely self-eliminated and if you hit number five or go to the smooth shade so it actually goes back to your shading but let's say you want to fix this up a bit hit number two and you can go for your clone tool which should be here and you know you can just start adjusting your texture so start painting it off uh, keep in mind that the opacity can be manipulated here so if you kind of want to paint it out one by one you can do that one by one i mean that with um kind of like a adjusted transparency you can do that so it doesn't really do it very sharply but basically you can just start painting the, your different texture segments together and it's fairly straightforward but also you can go back to 100 percent and you know just go crazy with it and let's go back to smooth shading and that's it um, if you're happy with the texture you can just export it out as you see it's applied to your uv map the only thing i like to recommend is go for the color picker and pick a like a dominant color of your texture like it's clear it's going to be some kind of yellow brownish color here go on your base layer and then fill that layer in with that color so all you do is film and click on that the layer options on the tool options click on layer apply to it let's give it a second and now it actually has a base color that is closer to the overall texture itself so it's going to be easier to paint out compared to that very dark gray it's not going to mess with your work and your texture that much and that's it in a lot shell uh, i usually just kind of throw something on the surface and start cleaning it up manually as much as i can um, it's pretty pretty good to be honest it's very handy tool i would recommend it and if you have any questions just please feel free to leave a comment and uh, yeah i hope you find this video useful and um, thank you very much